All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Living the Dream podcast. Today on the show, we're going through Proverbs 10, verse 29. Here we go. The way of the Lord is a stronghold to the blameless, but destruction to evildoers. Based on interpretation of this is that there's a right way to do things, and following suit makes that right way to do things a great foundation for where you're trying to go. But not doing so brings destruction. So if there's a right way to do things, there's also a wrong way to do things. And because people could stray from the right way of doing things and do things the wrong way, it then brings destruction into their life. Because if doing things the right way objectively produces quality outcomes, then doing things the wrong way will produce subpar outcomes, right? (laughs) And so I think that's just the baseline interpretation. We can leave it there. When you jump into phase eight, measuring results, a lot of people get focused on measuring the wrong thing and they miss the boat on where they're trying to go. But when you start to measure the right thing, because you're not looking to bring destruction into your life, but you're looking to have a good stronghold, good foundation for where you're trying to go, I think it changes your life. If you start measuring, let's say... You're trying to get more lean, but you're measuring your carb intake. Well, you probably need to be measuring your protein intake to make sure it's at more than one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Because if you're not getting that, you can cut all the carbs out of your diet or eat a bunch of carbs. It's not going to get you to your lean goal. Like nowhere on that spectrum are you even in the right vicinity. So you kind of got to put your ladder up on the right wall to make sure you're climbing to the right destination. That means tracking the right activities that will produce the outcome you're looking to produce. So that's why I think the self-improvement application here is phase eight, measure results and measure the right results. Because when you figure out where you're trying to go, there's a right way to get there. Entrepreneurial application is stage three with leads and advertising. And I say that this is kind of the right place to start when it comes to business, because if you have the best product ever and nobody knows about it, it's not going anywhere. If you have the best product ever, the best customer success system, the best lead engagement system, and the best brand, but nobody knows about it, it doesn't matter. You got to have advertising. You got to have those leads. You have to go through the process of making yourself known. And that's why I kind of have it as the um, the way of the Lord is a stronghold to the blameless. This is basically the way of the Lord I'm substituting for doing things correctly and is a stronghold I'm substituting for foundation. And then for blameless, you can substitute it for entrepreneurs here, right? I'm not saying those go hand in hand, but if you do things right, you'll create a good foundation as an entrepreneur. And that starts with advertising well, which means you need to know who you're trying to reach as well. And then you got to understand them, create an offer, but without advertising, the offer doesn't matter. The audience doesn't matter because you're not reaching them. The sales doesn't matter. The marketing doesn't matter. The customer success doesn't matter. And then your team doesn't matter because there's no cash flow to pay. So where has this shown up in my life? I would say deciding on a shift in the podcast. I'd been posting 600 plus episodes daily for the past year and a half. And I'm just like, boy, I am not getting where I'm trying to go. And the answer was, well, I am. I'm not liking where I'm trying to go anymore. And so then you make the shift and you start to um, change where you're trying to go. And so before it was just to talk to people about their dreams and goals. That's not what I'm trying to do anymore. I'm trying to create actual change in people's lives and be a power player that has the network to do what the show was initially trying to do. I wanted people to come on my show and be like, this is what I'm trying to do. Like, Great. What are the actions you need to do? Who are the people you need to be? Now I want to be able to help have the systems to help them with those actions, the capital to support them, and the people to introduce them to. I didn't have it. So now I'm like, okay, I got to niche down. I got to focus on a group, a community of people that will really set the stage for me to impact a lot of people. And for me, that's a community of entrepreneurs. And I got to build out that community, and then I can help other people with their dreams and goals. But first... I got to get to the point where I have the resources to deploy for these people, right? So making that shift in my podcast of niching down, making it more business focused, 
as opposed to my idealistic notion of just talking to anybody about their dreams and goals. It's a fun idea for a podcast, but not fun enough to retain attention and then set the stage to impact people in a big way. So now I'm just switching up the launch a little bit, switching up the launch. And that took me many, many episodes to figure out where I wanted to go with it, but now I know. And so that's where I've kind of realized, okay, I've been doing things a way, but not the right way to get where I'm trying to go. And we're making that change. So where do I want to show up in people's life? Where do I want to show up in my life? My bad. Putting first things first. So I know that I just started with leads and advertising. I need to put leads and advertising first and foremost when it comes to uh, activities that are being done for the sake of my podcast and then activities that are being done for the sake of my revenue. And if I'm not doing that, then what am I doing, right? Because we just said the entrepreneurial application of this is applying stage three well, because nothing else in the business works if you're not making it rain at the top of the funnel. How can you guys start to apply this to your life? I would say start to measure the most important thing in your life right now. That's it. Simple action step. If that's sleep, measure sleep. If it's weight loss, measure weight loss. And if it's a specific form of weight loss, you either weight loss, either measure your exercise routine, your macros, a specific macro. If it's relationships, measure the amount of quality time spent together. Start to rate the activities. Start to rate the quality of the relationship and get feedback for it. Like start to treat stuff, inspect what you expect. There we go. Well, end on that. That's what we got for you guys today on the show. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. And on that note, we're out.